Hey guys, it's uh, Jim I Jet Say A eleven nine here coming at you with a um GF Jim and I Jet's uh, DFW International Airport update. That's a mouthful. And um We'll just go ahead and start with the update with the 737 coming off the runway. He just landed on 18 right, just crossed 18 left, and uh, he'll be parking at Delta 6 today. Uh, he's so he's really close to getting at the gate. Be right there, first one on the corner. Um, he just came back from John Wayne, John Wayne uh, Inter uh, International Airport or County. I forget. I switch it up every time. So yeah, he just came from there. He'll be heading out to uh, Salt Lake City later today. Uh, American Airlines MD-80 Reno Air Transition Colors. He'll be, um, he'll be, um, sorry, he'll be uh, going out to uh, DCI later today. Here we have the uh, Emirates 777-200LR. Uh, he'll be heading out to Dubai in the morning. Uh, he's staying the overnight here. And over here we have a brand new model, the British Airways 747-400 at the hard stand, both of them are at the hard stand. And uh, 74 will be heading out to London Heathrow. American 777-200ER, uh, uh, he'll be heading out to Honolulu. He'll be filling in for 767-300 while he gets uh, maintenance checks on him. Uh, American Airlines uh, 757-200, uh, he'll be heading out to Boston today, and, sorry to hear that, and, um, there's nothing I can really do about that, and over here we have an American Eagle or Aeromexico, um, gate, um, or Air Canada, Air Canada parks at Delta, I think. Or one of the outside terminals from uh, Echo, but uh, American Eagle or Aeromexico gate, um, it'll probably be American Eagle first. So American Eagle gate, and then the for American gates. So yeah, that's it. Um, let's go back to the action shot. shot. The American 73 leaving, and the 80 heading out. Um, zoomed in too much. I want to get the Emirates tail too. But, um, news. Um, I'll be heading out to Lubbock, Texas on this coming Friday after this video is posted. I'll be flying American Eagle uh, ERJ 145, looks like, out there, and a, an American MD 80 flying back. It'll be my first time flying American Eagle, and it'll be my last time flying American Airlines MD 80. Uh, they're retiring them faster than I had expected, so this will be the last time I'll be flying a MD-80 out to anywhere, really. Next time will be, and good job, normally, you're getting the bug. And, um, this is my cat. Weird name, I know. And, um... And, uh, sorry point him where the bug was, and, um, so yeah, I'll be heading out to Lubbock, uh, on an Eagle, and I'll be flying back on American, uh, next time fly American, it'll be a 737-800, and, um, that's it for that part, the Chicago switch off, and the Dallas switch off, the Dallas switch off airport will come sooner than the Chicago, Chicago will come later on into my collecting years, Due to the fact that uh, I'm going to need to get, not another Gemini Jets mat, but another uh, mat in general for to draw on, draw Chicago Terminal. I'm going to do um, the midway point between American, the American Y Terminal and the uh, United Y Terminal. Because I really want to put uh, some Uniteds in, you know. And uh, the Dallas uh, LaField Airport will become sooner. Um, this, I can use the same map though, um, all I need to do is just make a few modifications, which you will see, and then I'll need to get maybe five south, five or six southwest planes. So that's it for that part, um, I'm glad this video kind of went shorter than all my other ones, because usually my other ones run to ten minutes. 
So yeah, recap. Flying out to Lubbock this coming Friday. Switch offs. Uh, Dallas is going to come before Chicago here. And um, new airplane, BA 747. Glad to add him to the fleet. And uh, another thing, I'm going to get my. Um, I'm planning to get my um, domestics this summer rather than my internationals because I uh, really need to go ahead and uh, get my um, domestics done. You know, those are actually kind of bugging the crap out of me. So I'm going to get uh, United Plane, Frontier. I'm going to get Delta, United, Frontier, JetBlue, and Spirit. Those are the five domestics. Oh, and uh, uh, Alaska. Alaska will probably be one of the first ones because those are more common. So, yeah. Um, so, that's basically it for that part. Um, glad y'all watched this video and hope y'all enjoyed it. Drop it a like if you enjoyed it. Um, please comment if you want to. Uh, it's really nice to hear y'all comment on my videos, what I should do how it's looking, um, what I should do for further videos on to come, and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope y'all enjoyed, and uh, have a great day.